Dr. Jen Ashton is back with us right now. She's joined by Dr. Todd Elrin, an ABC News medical contributor, and infectious disease physician. He's in Boston this morning. Dr. Elrin, let me begin with you. You're right in the thick uh, of, of all this right now. Let's talk about the controversy and confusion over testing. What are you seeing? How are you dealing with it? Well, George, the demand for testing far exceeds our capability right now. We are seeing an unprecedented number of patients with respiratory illness who need this test. And, and we know, and, and Doc, Dr. Jen, I want to ask you, vaccines. Everyone's worried yeah. about when is the vaccine coming? I know there's an experimental drug that's being tested that was originally developed for Ebola. Yeah. So is there some hope in the fight against COVID-19 with well, that? Well, listen, Michael, they're testing everything. That one's getting a lot of attention, and it's in clinical trials. They started in February, so we should have some preliminary data soon. But to be clear, they're looking at dozens of existing antiviral medications because we already have the safety profile on them. We already know how to dose them, and they're available. But right now, no firm treatment as of yet, but everything is being studied. And I want to bring that to Dr. Ellerin. So Dr. Ellerin, if there is no firm treatment, like Dr. Jen was just saying, for coronavirus, what do you recommend doing for a patient who comes in to sees you and has tested positive? Well, of course, it's extremely important that we have to identify and then isolate those patients. The problem is, without the testing, we can't do the first eye that's so important, which is identification. So we, it's, it's, it's critical that we identify, we test more, so we can isolate these patients, inform their close contacts for quarantine, and figure out really how broad reaching this epidemic is. Without testing, we're really handcuffed. Boy, that is really the bottom line right there. And Jen, one of the things we're seeing is this, from what we've seen so far at least, the virus is affecting different age groups in different ways. Right, and we're still collecting that clinical data, George. It's important to note that of the over 1,000 cases, well over 1,000 we have in the U.S., the CDC has yet to release any clinical data on that. So we don't know the average age of the U.S. patients. We don't know their pre-existing medical conditions. We don't know how many are severe, how many can be managed at home. You know, it can... As per the CDC, an older individual is over the age of 60. We know from published data over the age of 80, particularly at risk for COVID-19. But I want to be clear, Johns Hopkins released a paper on Monday where the average age of patients was 44. So we are going to see sporadic cases of seriously affected younger people who are not in the elderly age group. Uh, Dr. Eller, if I may, I want to go back to the issue issue of, uh, of treating these patients. I understand that, that testing is the root problem, but and isolation for people who've tested positive but what else can you do, if anything, for people? Well, of course, these patients with severe illness that require hospitalization, they will need things like oxygen, so we give them that. The most severe patients in our intensive care unit, they'll need to be intubated. Mechanical ventilation, we need machines that breathe for them. So, and remember something, COVID-19 doesn't just cause a bad flu. Patients with pre-existing conditions, it causes worsening heart failure worsening diabetes, worsening chronic lung disease. These patients will be in our units, not just with the COVID-19, but with worsening chronic conditions, and that's a problem. Okay, all very important information. Thank to you. Thanks to you both. And Dr. Ushin, you're gonna be sticking around to answer more questions. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.